Tonight on Politics Unusual, the Trump administration has wiped information on abusive animal breeders from federal websites. It's the latest in a wave of data purging since President Trump took office. All right, Stacey Delacat shows us what's being done to get those records back online. For years, records about animal welfare at places like pet shops, zoos, dog breeders, and research labs was accessible for anyone to see online. But earlier this month, the United States Department of Agriculture scrapped the data from its website. Now a coalition of animal rights groups is suing. The simple ability to go to that website, put in a name of a company or a name of a breeder, and be able to find their inspection reports and whether there's Animal Welfare Act violations, that's gone. Brian Hackett is the New Jersey State Director for the Humane Society of the United States, which has taken the first step towards filing its own lawsuit to get the records back. We have dogs bred in terrible, disgusting, inhumane conditions, and these are the types of organizations that now that information isn't going to be available. The USDA says the decision to remove the records has been in the works since last year. They say it's an effort to balance the needs for transparency with the needs for personal privacy protection. The agency is also currently in the midst of a lawsuit because of information that was posted on the site. I don't uh, accept that a lawsuit is the reason to chill public information. New Jersey Senator Bob Menendez and 17 other senators have sent a letter to the USDA demanding the records be restored. We don't wholesale do away with information. Uh, that's just unacceptable. In the meantime, writer and anthologist Russ Kick has posted thousands of the deleted records to his website, The Memory Hole. I always get upset when I see important information being taken down by the government. The fact that it's about animals is like even this additional motivating factor. Kick says he'll post any additional records that come his way. The data purge has also inspired a social media campaign with thousands tweeting under the hashtag no USDA blackout with pictures of their pets. Stacey Delacat, Fox 5 News.